In this video, we will show you how to add a Dreamweaver extension to your website. Over here, we have logged on to the Adobe website from where we're going to download the extension. There are different extensions available over here. For this tutorial, we will be downloading the Flexi Layouts extension, which provides a complete website theme structure. With that taken care of, let's extract the zip file and open up Dreamweaver. Over here, let's move to the Commands menu and click on the Manage Extensions option. Once the Extensions Manager window opens up, go to the File menu and click on the Install Extension option. Now we will simply locate the file that we just downloaded and the installation process would start. You would have to read the extension disclaimer and agree to the licensing terms and agreements before moving on with the process. Once the installation is completed, the extension would be displayed in the list over here and would be enabled by default. That means that we have successfully added a Dreamweaver extension to our website. Now let's check how the extension works. Talking specifically about Flexi Layouts, you won't be able to use the Dreamweaver extension before installing the Flexi Layout Editor app, which is basically an Adobe Air app used to edit the CSS layouts. Once installed, let's restart Dreamweaver and move to the Insert menu on top. Over here, you'll find the Flexi Layout Pro option. Let's move to that option and click on Create or Edit Layout to apply a theme to our site. And over here, you can see that the Layout Editor will open up, containing the layouts that are present in the extension. Over here, we will simply select a theme and click on the Create button. With that done, the whole theme would open up in the Layout Editor, and you can customize the whole theme according to your requirements. For now, let's save the theme and open it up in the browser. And there you have it. The theme has been successfully applied to our website through the Dreamweaver extension. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.